Okay, flame ruler. And it's a lily too, so I'm super dead. I need to start out uh, incorporating more homing moves, because if she's gonna sidestep me a lot, I'm gonna use backpack four or either Hitman three. Already? Nice, this time I didn't... Ooh. Did I press? Nope. I did press, but I wasn't sure whether or not if it buffered it. Side step. Nice, he got me good there. I got into Hitman stance, but I wasn't trying to. I was trying to do something else. Okay, what did I do? Okay, not a low. He didn't do a low. Another. Okay, now he did a low. Okay, okay. Okay, I pressed too much right there. I should have not pressed when he was going with the flow, pressing all those buttons against me. Okay. Okay, I thought that was a high. Gonna be careful against Lilies. Oh, he went for that, and I went for a low. That Kai crushes. Ah, yeah, he delayed it. What a smart ass. Yeah, this is the thing. I don't like playing against Lilies because they are very strong at just evading everything that you throw out. See, like, they, they just love to like go into that back turn stance so and you can't do shit. Shit, I- what? I pressed back twice! I'm pressing- wow, bro. I'm telling you, I, get, I don't like facing against Lilies because Lilies are just- they just spam so much you don't know what to do against them. It's sadness. Okay, so if she's gonna- Oh, what? See, like, if I- I can't even sidestep away from her, so if I- she gets- does that for free. Okay, I need to start, like... Damn it, good shit. Round two. Fight. And then there's the strings that just... Come on, dude. What? That's not what I was trying to do. No. There we go. I need someone to teach me some Lily so I can understand what's going on here because I'm I'm getting a chat yeah, that, that was a low. Okay, it wasn't a low either. There we go. I messed up the combo though. Round four. Fight. What?
Nope. Get out of here. I played patient there. I had to play a little bit more patient so that way I didn't get caught by her lows. If I can't get aggressive, like if I can't take my turn off from her, then I should be the one to do something about it. Nice, I got caught. I need to know I need to cancel out Hitman stance faster. Nice, he got me there. This is death. He goes to Rage Art. Oh no. Ay, ay, ay. I think I'm gonna go for Rage Art. If only I had more matchup knowledge against Liddy's. No, that's not. No, that time I didn't block low. Damn it. What? There we go. Round four. Fight. Nice. No, <laughs> I jumped. He won't get much damage though. Or maybe he will? Shit. I should have known they'll go for a low again. Not enough. Damn it, of course he goes for a command grab. Oh, I still hit him. Oh, I still got him. I had to focus so hard there. Dang, bro. I, I hate fighting against Lilies. I hate fighting against them. Because all they do is they, they love to go into back turn stance, and that's how they mix you up. They either go for the double slap thing that they do that gives them the combo right after, or they go into a weird homie move to stop you from catching them off guard. And then there's the the low move that guarantees them that weird ballerina hit with a kick. In fact, let me just check. Let me just check right now, actually. Uh, let me turn off the match making standby shit. And switch to Lily. I want to see something here because this is how you guys need to learn how to get rid of the anxieties you may have when you're facing a character that you don't know. Because I don't, I pull it off. I, I Sorry, I mean to say that. I tend to like put it away later on down the line, but then I forget and then I don't practice the matchup. 
So let's see exactly what's the problem that I'm having with her that I keep getting hit by. Alright, so let's see. Yeah, so I can sidestep. I can sidestep from both sides. Can I just regularly sidestep? Yeah, I can. Okay. Alrighty then. So let's do another one now. So... What if I get hit? Can I get away? I still can get away. Okay. Yeah, I can still get away. Alright, let me try the other one one more time. No, that one I can't. If I block it, yes. If I block it, I can get away. But if I get hit by it, I can't. Yeah, I can get away. Okay. But, oh, I need to sidewalk it then. To beat it. What about if it's the other side? No, the other side just catches me. Even more so. Ah, shit. Yeah, that's annoying. So, but I can, I can get away from her back turn stance from side walking to her right so the likelihood of her doing the low move is very high but what about her other moves i'm sorry that you guys are probably like seeing me do this right now i'm gonna cut it off so that you guys can see what i'm trying to get to that i'm trying to practice exactly what are the moves that lily is getting away with a lot when i'm fighting her because whenever she goes into back turn stance i don't know what i'm doing i don't know what i should do to be basically beat that stance can I retaliate and beat her? I mean, I have m multiple times. I have managed to poke her out by doing a dick jab. Then I go into the sidekick right here. But what if there's a better way to beat it? What if I can just get away from her by simply just sidestepping? And that way I can launch her, do this, and, you know, get away from getting hit by her. And not only that, I get a big combo off of that. So that's what I'm trying to practice here to see exactly what can I get away with when I'm fighting against Lily's. Okay, so, so she, if she does this... What? Oh, to her right side, I can beat it. Yeah, I can beat it if it's to her left side. To her left side. But if I try getting away to the right side, she tracks me. Oh, that's kind of stupid right there. I, I don't understand why Bandai Namco give these characters these types of moves that you can't beat unless they... Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't understand that. I don't understand that. Like, I know I'm, I, I'm rambling, but the thing is is that she has two moves, right? She can use... She can use back turn into what was the move again i just forgot <laughs> it, it was uh one plus two right one plus two that goes into a launch 13 french on startup then she has her low three plus four move that i gotta worry about that can also be sidestep to my left right i can sidestep it or sidewalk it to the left then i gotta worry about one two that now tracks to my left side so if I try getting away from her, she can just go for her back turn 1-2 and catch me off guard. So what else can she get away with then? Let's see. Yeah, it tracks you to the left side. And to the right side. What? Dude. That is stupid. <laughs> so then there's no way to beat that then. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So it tracks from both sides. That's so lame. Yeah, I can definitely get away from her to the left side. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, either way. So yeah, so now that I understand what her back turn stance does now. Okay, so she can get, she can do either 1 plus 2. Or she can go into her down 3 plus 4 low. That's what I'm seeing a lot of Lilies do now. But if she was a better player, she can just completely option select and just decide to, okay, I'm just going to go and do down two and just catch you from trying to do anything against me. That's the Lily talking, not, not me talking, the Lily talking. By just pressing down two and I can just stop you from sidestepping or sidewalking from both sides. And if you try to attack me, I can then hit you with that move and it counter hits you into a knockdown. So to me, that's kind of lame. That's so lame. 
So now you have to worry about one two back turn one two. Back turn one two tracks from the right from the left side. Her right side, but to my left side, I mean. And then I have to worry about down two that tracks from both sides. That's so dumb. The only moves that I can get away with from her is if she does. Wait, I haven't even checked though if she can track me from her power crush move though. Let's check that. Let's check that move. And then I'm uh summarize what's going on here. Oh, you can. Okay. Oh, but you, you can't sidestep it. You gotta sidewalk it. What? Bro, I'm sidewalking it now. She can still catch you? Okay. Oh, so she's weakest to her... To my right. So similar to her 1-2, you have to then get away by sidestepping to your right. Okay. Final conclusion to this. When she goes to back turn, if she does 1 plus 2, I can sidestep it to my left. Same thing if she does her down 3 plus 4 low move sweep. But that one I have to sidewalk to my left to beat it. If she goes for her 1, 2 in back turn, I can only sidewalk or sidestep to my right to beat it. And if she does down 2, she tracks from both sides. And her power crushes also can, can be beaten by sidewalking or sidestepping to my right. So she essentially has every opportunity to option select me and just go for down 2 if I do try to sidestep her. And if I try to retaliate against her, she can just use her 4 to catch me off guard if I go for a high to beat off... Bro, uh, pause, pause. To beat the move <laughs> that she'll use right after from back turn stand. So I have to make a right read. That's lame. That's lame. Anybody that, that thinks that Lily is an honest character can go fuck themselves, bro. Fuck off. Ooh, Fujin Brian is gonna be hard. I need to play defensively against him. I can't play too aggressive. Round one. Fight. Nice. Nice. It's a little again. What is with the connections of everybody that I play with? Two to three rollbacks of frames. How am I supposed to see the move coming out if they're gonna do that? Yeah, I can't dig jab him. Oh, I can't reach him at all. There we go. Can't even talk because this guy is dangerous. Nice.
Oh shit. Nice. There's a death here. Damn it again, though. The, the, the long range moves that this guy has is so hard to, to take on. There we go. There we go. Round two. Fight. Wow, the range on that. That Brian's defense was impeccable right there. He definitely deserved a Fujin rank. Try to get a couple of times so I can combo him, but it was very difficult to pull it off. So I had to play around with more poking game and mix up game to really try to get through his defense. Get ready for the next battle. Ooh, no, June. Well, I, I guess I need to rack up more matchup experience against her. She's annoying because she just goes into these weird mix-ups where she goes into a high homing move that goes into other stances. It's so annoying. See, like that right there. But as long as I can bombard her with mix-up game, mix game, she will lose. You see? Oh, that move again. Nice high. I mean, uh, high crush. Maybe this guy knows what he's doing. Okay. Okay, that's stupid. Oh, that little bit of health that she had left, and I almost had her too. Oh. Back off. What, sir?
What was that? That was a parry? What is that? She really went for the parry? Why did that not work? No, what am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> I messed up. I messed up bad. Nope. So, I think that's it. I mean, I think if I had to summarize anything that happened in my matches is that I am getting better at mixing up with Lee. I just need to get better at comboing with him. I need to figure out better frame traps or at least incorporate more frame traps with him because he has a couple that he can use. I'm just not using it as often because I'm too afraid of what the other opponent would do. Because this is the thing about when you pick up a different character each time that the uh, feeling of anxiety and the matchup knowledge that you have with that character that you've picked up once you feel comfortable, that's when you lessen that feeling. That like you, you decrease the feeling of having to feel that, okay, I gotta play more defensively. Because my play style is more aggressive. I like to play more aggressive. But I only play defensive when I want to catch the opponent off guard into a counter hit type of move. At least that's how I play. With any character, really. But I tend to play that way mostly with Yoshimitsu since I'm a Yoshimitsu main at, you know, at this point. So, I don't think I'm having any issues with him. I just need to incorporate more better combos and frame traps. And then from there, I think I'll do a lot better to getting to Fujin rank. So I think that's it. That's my summary uh, with Lee for now. If you guys like what you watched, give it a like. Subscribe if you want to see more of my stuff. Please hit the notification bell to be notified when I make a new content, a new video for you guys to watch. And stay tuned.